Hey everybody, Rick Needham, handicapping thoroughbred racing on Wednesday afternoon, October the 19th. This is in my Equibase Winter Circle East Coast Racing Report. Let's go to beautiful Belmont Park first for race six on their card, 3.40 p.m. Eastern Post Time. Eight and a half furlong route test on Belmont's beautiful turf course. Three-year-olds and up race for a claiming purse of some $21,000. Contenders number one, Midnight Silver. Number nine, Majestic Troubadour. Number two, Equivocation, and number seven, Smart Enough. Number one, Midnight Silver is both the overall speed and pace profile leader in this claiming field, racing at or about today's distance of eight and a half furlongs on the turp, takes an eight level class drop, comes off a power run show finish, facing better company in his last start, missing his circle trip in that race by just the photograph neck at the wire. He's hit the board in three of his last five outings overall, winning in his fifth race back. Jockey David Cohen and trainer David Jacobson sent him to the post this afternoon. They've whacked the toe board with an ins impressive 60% of 160 entries saddled as a team to date. Number nine, Majestic, Majestic Troubadour, an 8-to-1 shot, posted a power run show finish in his respective last outing in a race which was contested at today's Trackmaster class level of 94. By the way, folks, if this race is moved to the main track because of the possibility of rain on Wednesday here, not only use number 15 Stud Muffin in your boxed exotic wagers, but move him to the top of the multiple entry contenders list. He's hit the board in power run fashion in three straight, winning twice in his recent streak of racing consistency. Race 6 summary. On the turf, use number 1 Midnight Silver. And the top of your list, if the races move to the dirt track, use number 15 Stud Muffin on top. And then for your boxed exotic wagers with either of those two entries on top, box number 9 Majestic Troubadour, number 2 Equivocation, and number 7 Smart Enough. 1 or 15 on top, 9, 2, 7 in the 6 from Belmont Park. Let's go to Keeneland Race Course next for Race 4. Uh, 2.48 2 p.m. Eastern Post Time. Seven furlongs on the cushion track. Phillies and mares, three years old. An up race for a starter allowance purse of $26,000. Contenders number eight, Snugs and Kisses. Number nine, Giddy Up Gadfly. Number two, Babes Bridget. And number three, Miss Retta. Number eight, Snugs and Kisses has turned in power run performances in five straight starts, hitting the board in four of those adventures, winning three times in this recent streak of racing consistency. Jockey Julian Le Patero has been in her arms on two previous occasions, winning both en route to a positive 240% return on investment in the process, back today for his third ride gunning for a hat-trick win. Number 9, Giddy Up Gadfly, an 8-to-1 shot, qualifies as a Trackmaster plus Power Pony, has hit the board in power run fashion in four of his last five, winning twice. Race 4 summary, number 8, Snugs and Kisses, tops the contenders list, which also includes number 9, Giddy Up Gadfly, number 2, Babes Bridget, and number 3, Miss Retta, 8923 in the 4th from Keeneland. Bonus long shots, Hawthorne, race 3, entry number 5, under the rim, 4 to 1 in the morning line as a Trackmaster plus Power Pony qualifier, takes a class drop of some 12 units, and is the speed leader in his claiming field today. Who's your park? better known as Who's Your Daddy Park Race 4. Number 6 Argument, a 30 to 1 bomb, drops in class. The overall speed leader in his claiming field, sprinting at or about tonight's distance of 7.5 furlongs on the dirt. His recent past performance sheets show a trio of power run board hits in his last five outings, including power run wins in both his third and fifth races back. A reminder, 30 to 1. So handicapping from both Belmont Park and Keeneland on a Wednesday. Rick Needham for the Equibase Winter Circle reminding you as always to please bet with your head, not over it.